Hey guys, I'm Boys and Guests here, and welcome to episode 7 of the Kingdom of Farticus. Now today it has been snowing in uh, my other world, I'm in the UK, I live in the UK, you know, family's here, and it has been snowing. Sadly we didn't get to go off school early, and ho but hopefully tomorrow we'll get the day off school. That's a big hopefully. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this far a bit more sort of awesome. I make it produce more stuff than just uh, your old pumpkins. Come on. Uh, we're gonna produce some sugar cane. I just realised sugar cane can't go there, so I need to get my hat back again. What a derp. But uh, we got some wheat seeds as well. As you can see, we're low on food. That's because I got lost. When uh, no, when we, we found we made the pumpkin soup. I got what oh no, was pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. I got lost, and so I had to sort that out. I'm gonna need these in a minute, and my hoe. Where did I put my hoe? There's my hoe. Okay, we've got some wheat seeds. Well, excuse me. I'm gonna plant one here. That's to stop these two from connecting over one pumpkin. And then all of these can go. Like that. Holla. Now next, we want this. We want a spade. Because most people, when it's snowing, they like to go outside and make a snowman. But as a typical gamer, I, I'm not sort of like that. I don't go well for having snowball fights and stuff. Used to. Not, just can't be bothered now, too much effort. So now, I make snowmen on games. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to become a reformed gamer, which is basically a gamer who sits on his butt all day, plays games, but he wants to stop. He, he wants to uh, start to get a bit fit, start to do uh, press ups and stuff like that, I don't know. But A, I can probably do barely do one press up, and B, every day I try and attempt it. I'm like CBA, CB bloody A. So we're gonna make a snowman. Now to make now to, we need to put our snowman somewhere where it's gonna be safe from the elements. And so we're gonna make another little room. Yep. We're gonna make a little room in here. Just a three by three room and we're gonna block it off. So that no water or anything, no mobs can get in here. So our snowman is safe and dandy. And we're gonna name him Frosty. Because that is obviously what you name any snowman. It's Frosty. You don't name if you name a snowman anything different. Why? What? So, so at least it's easiest. Frosty. I mean, come on. It, it's it's a name that springs to mind when you think of snowman. Frosty snowman. I mean, if that doesn't come into your head. You you were brought up correctly. If you you've never ever heard that song. Wow. Where have you been? Honestly. And I'm misplacing blocks like a boss. Okay. Next we need torches. I can uh, I don't know whether this will hurt him. So what we're gonna do is we've got two snow blocks. We need, that's all we need. We'll make four right here. We've only got one. We need to take with that. And then boom. Boom. Okay, can I still reach out from there? Yes, I can. Boom. Hello, Frosty. You haven't got a head. You haven't got a face. Oh, that's cool. Well, Frosty, I'm just going to put that there. No, nope, one place. I will make you a sign, okay? I'm going to make you a sign quickly. So we, everyone knows what your name is. Now, 
I didn't start the stopwatch. I had a stopwatch ready. I was going to start it when the recording started. But. I'm a numpty. I'm a numpty cakes. And so I didn't start. Stopwatch. So I have no idea how long I've been going on for. But. We can fluke it. We can fluke it. Okay, no, I sort of know how long I've been going. I think I've been going for about 5-10 minutes. Yeah, let's just say I've been going for that long. That's fine. Okay, three of these. And now we can give Frosty a sign. Frosty, the snowman. There we go. That's my winter celebrations. A bit about a year late, but a month, not a year late. <laughs> Whoa. A month late, but uh, that's that's still cool. Let's go sleep, and then what are we going to do? Well, we do really need to go for a bit of mining, and that is probably quite a good idea. But mining is boring, you know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand the farm quickly. I got all these. I got loads. I got two wheat seeds. Let's see if we can increase that. Boom. And there we go. Already got. Oh my god, we got three from that. Wow. It's pretty sweet. And I can hear you, Mr. Sheep. I know we haven't got your wife yet. I'm sorry. But. I just haven't had the time, man. We tried to find my way back home. I've been driving on this. I've been like walking around this world too long. I'm sorry, but your homie's dead and gone, man. Dead and gone. Yeah. Tell you well. So anyway, we get this farm. Forty done. Sweet. If you don't, if I, if I don't say so myself. Now, I haven't yet talked to my friends about the show, sort of show I've been planning. I'm going to talk to them about, hopefully today, before I go belly buys, the nights, whatever, whatever you call it, and if they're, if they're both, like, sort of, interested, probably record it on Wednesday, and it will be up, hopefully, on Friday. Now, it is going to be an edited a heavy edited series because the way I've planned it there's gonna be pictures that need to be shown that I need to edit in so you can guys can see them. And Ooh we have a saddle. Forgot about that. That's cool. So yeah, we got wheat, shovel, let's, let's organise our inventory a bit. Don't need any of those. We need the cobblestone. We really need to go wood mining, wood cutting. Even dirt, we can take you that and holla. As you can see, we've pretty much we've got quite a big inventory, and but we still need quite a few resources, in my opinions. And we got yeah, we got string actually, bow. We can make a bow, and then with the rest of the stuff, we can make some arrows. I'm going to give ours. Nope, not that. Don't want you. Go away. You're not wanted. So, let's make a bow. And then we're definitely going to need to go wood cutting because that's just. That's all of it gone. That's all of the wood. We used all the wood. <laughs> funny. Now, actually, no, talking about funny stuff. Quite a amusing thing happening in uh, Frank's today, actually. Really amusing. In, in, in my opinion, you, it, you, you guys may have different opinions of humour, though I've told quite a few people this and they found it funny. I'm one of those people who, once something funny happens, everyone finds out about it, one way or another. I'll make sure they do. Basically, in French, me and my friend, we were listening to like a, one of those listening tapes and I don't know how it exactly goes, because I'm not too good at French myself, but basically she was giving a tour of the town and she said, the toilets and he the guy who was like getting the tour responded with are we 
Oh, it's so funny. And then uh, my friend, he decided to... Uh, hell, we haven't, we haven't covered the health yet. Damn. My friend decided we were doing... We were also doing comparisons of town. We have two lessons of things today, which... <laughs> killed me. No, I'm still alive. I had to get revived and everything. It was terrible. But... We did comparisons like... My uncle's house is bigger than my house. My friend... Put us one of his example ones because we had to write our own ones as well to see that we to show that we'd learnt it. Decided to write my garden is neater than my sister's sister's garden. Now I'm not going to explain it for anyone that doesn't normally know because that doesn't normally doesn't, that doesn't get it because it's probably good that you don't get it. But for those of you that do get it, I can see you giggling right now. I can see your thought. I can see your thought process. It's like that is really immature. Ha ha ha! And you're laughing. You just can't help it. It's funny. Don't deny it. Uh, uh, don't deny it. Hmm. Now, as well as doing, um, okay, let's get the chords down. Let's just open up the chords. Okay. Yeah, go. I can look back on that later. Just so I don't get lost. So 250 and 250, I think it was. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good chords. I can remember that actually. I don't think I need to go back through. Now, so over there, you can see we've got loads of uh, grass. So we're gonna actually gonna go. We're gonna go over there and get some seeds from there. We're gonna completely empty of its seeds. Probably could have done that instead of wasting all the bone meal, but I'm sorry. I just wanted to use it. Want to use it? Use it all up. We got loads of chickens over here as well. Oh, and a sheep. But I forgot the wheat. I'm sorry, Mr. Sheep, you're going to have to wait a bit longer for your partner. I'm sorry. I just wasn't prepared. I went out and found another one. And this does look a pretty cool place to build. And there's cows. We have found a food source. I'm sorry, but I can't be bothered to drag you back home. I'm going to kill you instead. It's a two. If we put the lemon, if we put the meat in there, then we can sort of see how much uh, food we get. We want about eight, really. That should keep us going for a while. Because these, I think, they give four. Don't fall in the hole. Okay, we're doing well. Four at the moment. Four at the moment. Come on, let's see if we can rise it up by one. Rise it up a little bit more. And ooh, what else? Can, what else can I talk to you guys about? Oh yeah, I've got my English exam on Wednesday. And my physics will sit on the 22nd, I believe I've already told you guys about this. But I'm just reiterating the fact. Now, so far, I don't think you can really revise for the English, in my opinion. I, because it's poems and stuff, and it's all about annotations. Yeah, I can look through the annotations. But, yeah. In my opinion, I still, I still think... I don't, f I don't think now, starting now, will make much of a difference, considering today for me is a Monday, it's a Wednesday. I really do need to prepare a lot more before exams. But one of the hardest things about doing like an English exam, article, they send off all of the papers and stuff at the end, once you've finished everything, so you don't get your exam results until at the end of the two years. Which means you don't know whether you need to improve any coursework or not, or whether you're doing fine. I hope I'm doing fine. I've, I've, the, the pieces that I must think is marked, that she's, but even though she's marked herself, and then has to go to the exam off at exams board to be checked over. But so far, the ones I found out about having bees, though I've only found out about half of the ones that I've already completed. So, I could be doing really well, or I could be doing a scream loudly, and I won't know. Which is a bit annoying. Now, talking about that, hello Mr. F hello Frosty. You nearly uh, covered your places now. As well as that, um, one of the things that happened a few months ago is, well, I think it was last year, my teachers offered me the chance to do bit, redo a bit more coursework because I didn't have enough words but they gave me the offer the day before the coursework catch up day 
it was about comparing four poems. It was a poem analytical piece. I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise. And um, it was really annoying because I, was, I really wanted to do it, but I couldn't do it because of the lack of preparation. I would lack of preparation time I would have had, and I still didn't get any seeds. Well, I think I've been doing this for about 15 minutes now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, wait until the background noise has stopped, hopefully, and I will get back to you guys. I'll probably This will probably be one episode, uh, depending. And then, uh, so I'll see you guys next episode. Please like a favour if you enjoyed, share with your friends, subscribe for more. Say, are you going to say goodbye, Mr. Sheep? you going to say goodbye? I know, you can see all your friends over there. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.